Forster. And I'm Scott Keys. And we're here in Flagstaff, Arizona at Historic Brewing Company. And we're going to try some beers and let you know what we think. Absolutely. So right now Scott's trying the Undercover Cucumber from Historic. So this is a cucumber a basil lager. So what, tell us what you think, Scott. It's, it's fresh, it's clean. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of hot presence at all. Um, I would describe it as I have on Untapped, which you can follow me there if you're interested. Uh, but it is liquid cucumber. For those people who are really into like cucumber flavored water, right, if you also like beer, this is definitely the beer for you. Refreshing, fantastic lawnmower beer, particularly for those hot Arizona days. All right, so Aaron is now drinking uh, Eternal Sunshine Session IPA. Uh, very sessionable beer, low ABV uh, for those hot days. Aaron, what do you think? Uh, slightly hot forward. Also, it's going to be a little bit more uh, citrusy, but don't think grapefruit or orange. Um, if anything, a little bit more lemony. Um, a little bit more of a zest type of a flavor instead. Uh, very, very, very clean. At the same time, um, if you're trying to get into IPAs, this would be a good place to start. It's, uh, it's not too much of a bitter finish. I think uh, most people will be able to enjoy this who are trying to get into an IPA. All right, here we are again at Historic Brewing Company. We got Aaron here. He's about to try the uh, tart beer that they have on here. It's their sour. It's the Prickly Puss, coming in at about 5% and 20 IBUs. Uh, what are we looking at here? What's the nose? What's the what's the flavor profile on that? The nose on this one is definitely more like a lemony uh, fragrances. You're gonna slightly yogurty. Oh, uh, that's what you're gonna pick up. It's pretty pretty tart. Um, it's not sour in the sense of uh, if I were to compare it to something else. It's uh, got more like a slightly lemon yogurt, uh, very creamy finish, and um, if you don't like uh, like Greek yogurt, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's uh, pretty solid. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but that's my flavor profile. Okay, so I just did the uh, Prickly Pear that... Prickly Puss. Prickly Puss, sorry. Prickly Puss here at Historic Brewing Company. And uh, just to sort of add on to what Aaron said about it, it's it's similar to the Ocho Vase made by uh, Sierra Nevada. So if you're interested in maybe coming down to Arizona or you're in Flagstaff and you're not sure whether or not this is something you'd like, pick up a, a six pack of the Ocho Vase by Sierra Nevada, give you an idea of what this beer is like. Uh, it's more of a goza than it is a sour or tart ale. Uh, pretty pretty creamy mouth fill. I don't think it's too tart, uh, but it's a good a good introduction. Uh, for people who may or may not know if they like sours, this is the way to so go. So Scott is now going to try the uh, barrel-aged pie hole porter. This is their cherry vanilla porter that's been barrel-aged. All right, so this is the barrel-aged version. Um, the original version uh, is a little sweet. Um, some might say that it tastes a little bit artificial, um, but I don't think they're using any artificial uh, ingredients in there. It's a fairly decent um, porter. I gave the original non-barrel aged version of four on a tap. The barrel aged version, when you when you look at it on the nose, it almost comes across as if it's a sour, uh, a tartness to it um, on the nose. Um, that is somewhat reminiscent, uh, albeit a lot less stringent, uh, to uh, Black Tuesday's Tart of Darkness with cherry and vanilla. Um, if you can ever get a chance to find someone who has a brewery, Tart of Darkness with cherry and vanilla, pick that up, it's fantastic. The nose on this is a little bit similar, so let's see what we got on the mouth. You can definitely get some oaky notes on there. Um, the sad thing about this particular one is that the oak has overpowered um, the profile of the porter itself. So you're pretty much just getting a lot of oak on here. Uh, and not necessarily a lot of bourbon, uh, just sort of oakiness. So, um, I don't think this is all that fantastic of an example of a bourbon barrel aged beer, uh, but don't take my word for it necessarily. If you're out here, give it a shot, see what you think. Well, we just finished up with Historic Brewing here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Some excellent beers. Uh, my favorite was probably going to be the uh, the Saison, the Rye Saison, which was nice balance, a little bit of bisky, biscuity, a little bit of rye, a little bit of uh, hops. Very just nice balanced beer. What was your favorite, Scott? Yeah, I'm gonna agree. That was one of my favorites. I did like the uh, non-barrel aged um, porter that they had. 
notes of cherries and vanilla as they say comes through on that very easy drinking porter particularly for people who are not into darker beers great introductory beer uh, and even for people who like big stouts like myself i normally drink bourbon barrel aged beers uh, fantastic sipping beer uh, overall i would i would give historic brewing company uh, probably about a b minus a solid b uh, the beer was great service was was a little slow but there was only one person working today so ultimately pretty good environment solid i liked it Yep, so thank you Historic Brewing and check us out on Untapped. Cheers.